Coronavirus, no evidence that recovered patients are immune, says WHO. Health agency warns governments against issuing immunity passports. Here's a summary of the article. The World Health Organization said on Saturday that there was currently no evidence that people who have recovered from coronavirus and have antibodies are protected from a second coronavirus infection. The practice could actually increase the risks of continued spread as people who have recovered from the illness, also known as COVID-19, may ignore advice about taking standard precautions against the virus, it said. There is currently no evidence that people who have recovered from COVID-19 and have antibodies are protected from a second infection, it said. Chile said last week it would begin handing out health passports to people deemed to have recovered from the illness. Once screened to determine if they have developed antibodies to make them immune to the virus, they could immediately rejoin the workforce. The WHO said it continued to review the evidence on antibody responses to the virus, which emerged in the central Chinese city of Wuhan late last year. Most studies have shown that people who have recovered from infection have antibodies to the virus, the WHO said. This post received a score of 26,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Disclaimer, I'm aware this isn't saying we're not immune. If people don't become immune, how do they get over the disease? Furthermore, how would a vaccine ever work? It's why your dog needs rabies shots every three years or you need a tetanus booster every three. Essentially the memory B cells that are generated when you first encounter a virus are actually just stored in your body. When and if you encounter the disease again then the memory B cells can proliferate again but it might be too little too late. The administration of booster doses essentially refills your supply of memory B cells for that disease. Greater than you need a tetanus booster every three. Every ten, no? Ten years is the recommendation in the US, unless there has been possible exposure, in which case they will give you another one if you haven't had one in the last few years, or another reason to boost early, like pregnancy. I always thought the booster was 5 not 3. Wonder if it was a formation change or new data coming out over time of the effectiveness. Nope. In the interest of complete information, children complete vaccination schedule versus adult vaccination schedule. Still 10 years. If you had a bad exposure, say a nasty cut, wound at approximately 7 years for example, this isn't a solid number from your last TDAP, TD, they would likely go ahead and give you a booster. Wow I was today years old when I learned that adults are supposed to get tetanus boosters. Do I just ask a doctor at a regular appointment for one? I haven't had any kind of shot besides a flu shot in 20 plus years. Yep. Depending on the state, you may be able to just go to the pharmacy. Otherwise, you should be able to call your physician's office and they can send an electronic prescription and get it done there. Preventative medicine should be covered by insurance as well. I haven't seen one not cover it but I wouldn't doubt that there may be some HDHP that basically exists to scavenge money from people. It's important to remember no evidence doesn't mean that something doesn't just happen, just that we haven't got any evidence it has so it isn't a fact you can make policy on. Same as the no evidence of human to human transmission thing from much earlier, they weren't wrong they were using language precisely and the subtlety was ignored smiley face. I'm not offering an opinion on immunity just support for evidence-based policy making. Agreed. I think professionals understand the meaning of no evidence but typical citizens are likely to misinterpret it as no, much like in court trials. I would have preferred something like no evidence whether there will be immunity or not or no definite conclusion on whether there will be immunity for ease of understanding by the public. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.